on yet another piece for the bridal shower. And what I did was I actually printed out a picture of Serafina and Spencer. And I am going to try to Mod Podge transfer it onto this little wooden um, block that I got from Dollar Tree. Excuse me. And these are just the little things of Mod Podge from Dollar Tree. I need to invest and actually get like a big tub from Walmart. Um, but anyway, I am going to try to do it. I, I have now kind of cut out um, the picture and now I'm going to cover it with some Mod Podge, flip it over and adhere it to the wooden. I Mod Podge the front of it and now I have it down onto the wood. I did have to move it a little bit and there's some color smudging. <sighs> um, I really hope that this does not <laughs> smudge. But now we just have to wait until it dries. I try to make sure that it is down all the way and that there is no bubbles. So we just wait and see how this turns out. This is my first time, so I'm really, really nervous um, to see how this turns out. In the background noise, it's just my daughter. Okay, so this has dried. Now I have dampened part of this towel. Oops. And it's you're supposed to lay it on top for 15 minutes. Um, and let it dampen. And then you're supposed to rub it off with the towel. So we shall see. Here it is. I think it actually came out really cute. I'm gonna Mod Podge it whenever it dries. Um, after it fully dries, I might try to get more of those little granules off, but I really love how it came off, but I'm definitely going to Mod Podge over it just so that the wood transfer doesn't get it messed up. Crossing my fingers that whenever I put the Mod Podge that the colors do not blur. This is dried, I feel like the detail is out of it, <sighs> but it's okay. Um, it's fine. I am going to now paint the edges white, and then I might even get a little bit of brown and kind of just put, like, edge out the edgings of this a little bit. I don't know. It just depends, but I am going to do some white paint on the edges. I have painted it white and distressed it with the brown tempera paint from Dollar Tree. Um, shade brown, I believe. Yeah, it just says brown. And it has a reddish tint to it. Um, and so I went around the edges with a very fine tipped brush. I have put some matte Mod Podge on top of it. It's still very cloudy, but I mean, this was my first time, so oh well. They know who it is. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna let that dry before I continue on with the board. Because I did use the wrong side of the signs, I decided to do kind of a spray paint of blue paint because I'm hoping that that would help the glitter not get all over the place and help not see the texture of the red uh, or of the raised edges. I've got this wreath over here on one side. I have these two signs Serafina gave me. I'm not going to use one of them. I decided not to use one of them. But right here in this little corner is where I'm going to put the plaque. But first I am going to mix up some paint. It's white and black and uh, I'm going to make a gray color 
I really don't care about these holes at the top. This is supposed to be a rustic sign. If it's got holes, it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm going to put um, a couple of coats of the gray paint first. So I didn't video it because I'm really trying to get all of this stuff together, but I have these burlap leaves from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take it off the stems and I'm going to glue it onto this board and with the board, after I did the second coat of the gray, I just got some white paint and I got it on this bristle brush that you can get at Dollar Tree and I just kind of distressed it. I got some of the black onto a very fine detailed brush like that and I just kind of got the black right along the seam of the plaques and then got some sandpaper and distressed it just a little bit or I went a little too crazy. I did have to get some white paint in there. Um, my little plaque did bleed. You can kind of still see the silhouette, though, of um, Serafina and Spencer. So it's cool. <laughs> and this little wreath, I'm going to hot glue the little white buds onto the boxwood leaves that I got. And all I did was I um, get these at Walmart, these little picks. And I just kind of intertwined them together. And I'm going to glue that onto this plaque. Um, I'm going to find a way to hang this onto this thing. I might get like the little command hooks so that you can like hang the sign on this and this is done. Came out so pretty. guys so this is another craft i've gotten this wooden uh, i think it's mdf sign from dollar tree these are the tumbling tower blocks and i've got three glued together they are actually something that i messed up on so i'm glad that i can actually use these because i want to use this as a decorative stand on um the tables what i've done is with this bunch of sunflowers that I got from Hobby Lobby. I cut some of the stems and in the middle, I tied it together with some floral tape from Dollar Tree. I made a little dot of glue to kind of keep it together. And then from these floral picks, also from Hobby Lobby, these were on sale. As you can see, they were $9.99, but I believe we paid two or three dollars for a bunch of them. And, um, we got them over there because I'm also going to use those for something else. But I started first with making this because I want to put it in front of the word gather. I, I use the Gorilla Glue to glue the gather sign onto the blocks. As soon as that is done, I will use some twine to adhere this to the gather sign as well as hot glue it close to it and then I will hot glue these little floral pieces. So I'm thinking I want to go a little bit out the box and I actually want to paint the word gather with this yellow paint. It's apple barrel paint. I believe you can get it from Walmart. It's very very inexpensive. So I'm going to do that first. So it looks absolutely perfect. Now I want to distress it a little bit. So I'm going to take this brown paint that you can find at Dollar Tree and I'm going to take my bristle brush, again comes in a two pack from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to distress the word gather and I'm also going to paint the, um, the blocks, the little building blocks. I'm going to use that same brown paint. So take a little bit on the end of your brush, dab it a little bit off because you don't want too much and just whisk it around on the letters. I'm just kind of showing you kind of how I did it and now this is what it looks like all done as far as the work gather and then I'm like I said, just going to use the brown paint to paint the tumbling tower blocks um, with the bundle 
I just used floral tape and a little bit of hot glue and I really love how this sign came out. Please make sure to consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys later.